Hey there, guys. This is Dan here, and today I'm going to talk about something. Perhaps you may be weird. What kind of clothes is this? Red. And think of strange. Well, these are the uniform I wear when I go underground. So this is okay to do for you to guess. Today I'm going to talk about things underground. First of all, what is underground like? Perhaps you may hear all the fairy tales in when we are young. Perhaps you will think that the underground will like the Alice falling into the rabbit holes while the rabbits running through, shouting, "I might be late." Well, what is it actually like? Actually, the cave is all filled with stones, waters, and small creatures. First of all, let me tell you something about the stones inside. What kind of stones will you think when you talk about cave? I guess it's stalactite. What is stalactite? It is a kind of rock hanging on the top of the roof of the cave. It like teeth, if you ask. It has been down of the waters on the high. The waters turn into stones by time pass by. And that's not ordinary waters. That water had mixed something that used to belong to the creatures, and that causes the stone has the ability to shine. These are the shining stones under some special light, which I call UV light. Why do they can shine? You will never want to hear the reason, which is written in a paper. So I made an easy one. It is because of the protons in here. As you can see, there there are electrons running after those, and the light has energy. The energy comes in and causes the electrons being very active, and the more active it is. Just like the naughty kids in the kindergarten, it begins to spread out, and as it spreads out, it causes the light we see. So, not only stones but also creatures are a bit different from the ones in the city. As you can see, here are two different kinds. One is under the cave, and one is on the surface. Can you see the difference between them? The most easy to different you can see is about the color. One is white with no color, and another is full of color. Why the one in the cave doesn't have any color at all? Because it's no needed. Inside the cave, there are no lights at all. There are no sunshine because it's all a long tunnel and deep underground. So the color is no needed, and also eyes are no needed. If you look into the details. You cannot find the eyes in the one in the cave, and that is the place where it's unique. Scientists now separate the two of them by finding if there are eyes on the ones in the cave. If they haven't have a cave in the ever can the cave on inside the creatures, if you can find an eye, that might be a brand new species. So there are a lot more for us to discover, and the more to discover, maybe we'll learn more about us. We can learn why we come from and why we here. I'm Dan. Thank you for listening.